What's going on everyone? Sebastian here from Crypto News, bringing you the best crypto content on a daily basis. Today, we're going to be talking about all the possibilities that you can do with DeFi liquidity. DeFi liquidity pools are probably one of the most complex yet most profitable things people can do in cryptocurrency when they're looking to generate passive income. And by the end of this video, you should know exactly what to do with DeFi liquidity pools and how you can potentially profit from them. And if this is your first time watching one of my YouTube videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way, as I give more videos like this, you'll get notified. And go ahead and drop me a comment below if this is your first time watching one of my videos. That way you can let me know exactly what your thoughts are on this video and just basically have any discussion about cryptocurrency. Now remember folks, this video is strictly for educational purposes only. Please do your own research anytime you're investing in cryptocurrency. Decentralized finance has resulted in a surge in on-chain activities. Decentralized protocols, which are into decentralization of conventional financial services, have achieved formidable popularity over the course of time in recent years. Interestingly, DEX volumes can now compete meaningfully with centralized exchange volumes. But what is responsible for all of these expansions? One of the core factors behind the growth of DeFi is the concept of a global liquidity pool. Decentralized exchanges, synthetic assets, yield farming, borrow lend protocols, and on-chain insurance all make use of this concept. As a crypto enthusiast, you might wonder what this liquidity pool is all about. Our discussions today will help you understand what DeFi liquidity pools are, how they work, and how you can earn from them. I will also cover the risks involved so that you can weigh your options. So what is a liquidity pool? A liquidity pool is a crowdsourced pool of cryptocurrencies or tokens that are locked in a smart contract and are used to facilitate trades between the assets on a decentralized exchange. It is a mechanism with which users can pool their crypto assets in a DEX's smart contract to provide liquidity for traders to swap between currencies. Instead of the traditional buyer and seller markets, most decentralized finance platforms use automated market makers, which allow digital assets to be traded automatically and without permission via liquidity pools. Prior to the introduction of automated market makers, crypto market liquidity posed a challenge to Ethereum-based decentralized exchanges. DEXs were a new technology with a complicated interface at the time, and the number of buyers and sellers was limited, making it difficult for traders to find enough people on the opposite side of the order book ready to trade on a regular basis. Seasoned traders in the traditional or crypto market will warn you about the risks of investing in a market with little liquidity. Slippage will be an issue when attempting to enter or exit any trade, whether it's a low cap cryptocurrency or a penny stock. Automated market makers address this issue of limited liquidity by forming liquidity pools and incentivizing liquidity providers to supply assets to these pools, all without the use of third-party middlemen. The more assets and liquidity a pool has, the easier it is to trade on decentralized exchanges. To create a market, liquidity providers add an equal value of two tokens in a pool. They earn trading fees from trades that occur in their pool in proportion to their share of total liquidity in exchange for providing their funds. AMMs have made that market more accessible since anyone can be a liquidity provider. Liquidity pools offer much needed liquidity, speed, and convenience to the DeFi ecosystem. Banker was one of the first protocols to use liquidity pools, but the concept gained traction with the popularity of Uniswap. SushiSwap, Curve, and Balancer are some of the other popular Ethereum exchanges that use liquidity pools. These venues liquidity pools contain ERC20 tokens. PancakeSwap, BakerySwap, and BurgerSwap are Binance Smart Chain equivalents with pools containing BEP20 tokens. Now, how exactly do liquidity pools work? From our discussion so far, you should already have an idea of how the whole liquidity pool thing works, but for the purpose of clarity, we'll explain just a little further. 
I've stated that liquidity pools AMM is a significant advancement because it enables on-chain trading without the use of an order book. Because no direct counterparty is required to execute trades, traders can enter and exit positions on token pairs that would be extremely illiquid on order book exchanges. Consider an order book exchange to be peer-to-peer -peer with buyers and sellers linked by the order book. While trading on an automated market maker can be thought of as peer to contract. When you execute a trade on an AMM, you don't have a traditional counterparty. Instead, you are trading against the liquidity deposited in a pool by liquidity providers. With this mechanism, you don't need a seller at the time of a transaction for you to buy assets. Only sufficient liquidity in the pool is required. The whole activity is managed by the algorithm that controls what happens in the pool. Crypto liquidity pools are designed in such a way that crypto liquidity providers are incentivized to stake their assets in the pool. As a result, the liquidity providers receive trading fees and crypto rewards from the exchanges where they pool tokens. If you provide liquidity to a pool, you'll frequently receive liquidity provider tokens. The LP tokens can be valuable assets in their own right and can be used in a variety of ways throughout the DeFi ecosystem. The LP tokens you get is always in proportion to the amount of liquidity you have supplied to the pool. When a pool facilitates trades, a fractional fee is distributed proportionally among the LP holders. To recover the liquidity contributed along with the accrued fees from their portion, the liquidity provider's tokens must be destroyed. On the other hand, because of automated market maker algorithms that keep token prices relative to one another within a given pool, liquidity pools maintain fair market values for the tokens they hold. Different protocols may use slightly different algorithms for liquidity pools. To maintain price ratios, Uniswap protocols, for instance, use a constant product formula, as do many DEX platforms. This algorithm ensures that a pool consistently provides crypto market liquidity by managing the cost and ratio of the corresponding tokens as the quantity demand increases. Next, let's talk about what are liquidity pools used for. Our discussions so far have been about automated market makers, which is the most popular application of liquidity pools. However, liquidity pool is a really simple concept that can be applied in a variety of ways. One of such ways is yield farming, also known as liquidity farming. Liquidity pools are the foundation of automated yield generating platforms such as Yearn, where users contribute funds to pools that are then used to generate yield. It's always been a problem for crypto projects to distribute new tokens to the right persons. One of the more successful methods to address this issue has been liquidity mining. To put it simply, the tokens are distributed algorithmically to users who deposit their tokens in a liquidity pool. The newly minted tokens are then distributed proportionally to each user's share of the pool. Governance could also be considered as a use case. In such cases, a very high number of token votes is required to put forward a formal governance proposal. But if the funds are pooled, participants can unite behind a common cause that they believe is important for the protocol. Another application of liquidity pool is trenching. It's a traditional finance concept that involves categorizing financial products based on their risks and returns. As expected, these products allow liquidity providers to select customized risk and return portfolios. Liquidity pools are also used in the minting of synthetic assets on the blockchain. Connect some collateral to a liquidity pool and a trusted oracle, and you've got a synthetic token pegged to any asset you want for yourself. Well, it's actually more complicated than this, but that's how simple the basic concept is. There are likely many more applications for liquidity pools, some of which are yet to be discovered. And it is all up to the ingenuity of DeFi developers. So what are the risks involved in liquidity pool investments? Impermanent loss is the most common risk that liquidity providers may face. In layman's terms, impermanent loss means that the fiat value of a user's crypto assets deposited in the pool may decrease over time. 
Impermanent loss is naturally interwoven into the AMM concept and occurs when the price of the pool's token changes from when they were deposited. The greater the magnitude of the change, the greater the loss. While impermanent losses can be insignificant at times, it can also be catastrophic. The market cap is $2.168 trillion. And now the market... Oh! Ah! Since impermanent loss occurs as a result of volatility in trading pairs, pools that include at least one stable asset, which is basically an asset whose value is pegged to a fiat currency, most commonly the USD, such as DAI, USDC, or USDT, are less susceptible to impermanent loss. In the same way, the risk of impermanent loss is lowest for pairs of two stable coins. In fact, depending on the pool, liquidity provider rewards can even offset impermanent loss over time. Another consideration for liquidity providers is smart contract risks. When assets are added to a liquidity pool, they are solely controlled by a smart contract with no central authority or custodian. As a result, if a bug or vulnerability occurs, the coins may be permanently lost. Furthermore, users should be careful of projects in which pool governance is handled solely by developers, with zero control transferred to the community. In such cases, the developers may engage in malicious behaviors, such as seizing control of a pool's assets. Liquidity pools are the backbone of the AMM segment and an important source of passive income for DeFi users. In addition to AMMs, liquidity pools facilitate other aspects of DeFi such as decentralized lending and borrowing. However, while it could be profitable depositing your funds into a liquidity pool, entails risks that you must consider before making any decision. Well, thank you so much for watching. Now you know exactly what a DeFi liquidity pool is and its many use cases. Now, if you've been in crypto for any amount of time, please drop me a comment below on how exactly you've been profitable using DeFi liquidity pools. Maybe there are plenty of use cases that I did not cover that you think are the backbone of DeFi. So please, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video resourceful, please smash that like button. It really does help support this channel and it means the world to me. Well, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next video.